I'm going to explain the um, problem 2C from the hemoglobin practice problems posted in week 8. And in part C, you're told that you're working with a um, solution of hemoglobin. And you're told that there's a 0 0.002 molar solution of hemoglobin. And the fraction of oxygen saturation changes from 80% to 50%. So that's a 30% change. And it's asking you, and it's, and it's also telling you that this would lead to oxygen release. And that makes sense, you know, if the hemoglobin saturated with oxygen and then the amount that's saturated decreases, that means the oxygen has gotten released from the protein. The ligand has left the protein. So now it's asking you to calculate the number of moles of oxygen released by the one liter solution that you have on hand. So if, like I mentioned up here, you went from 80% saturated to 50% saturated. So that means 30% of the hemoglobin released its oxygen. And so 30% of the total, and the total is 0 0.002 molar, is 0.0006 molar. So that much of the hemoglobin released its oxygen. And at this point, you have to then remember that every single hemoglobin can bind to four oxygen. So if one hemoglobin converts from oxy to deoxy. For every mole of hemoglobin that releases, that completely releases all its oxygen, four moles of oxygens will get released. So it's a one to four ratio. So if 0 0.006 moles of oxyhemoglobin released their oxygens, then you have to multiply this number by four to get the number of moles of oxygen that are released, which is 0 0.0024 moles of O2 are released. So this problem has you doing has you doing a little bit of math with the oxygen saturation and then has you connect your knowledge of the ratio between hemoglobin and its ligand to calculate the exact number of moles that are released.